I'll go through some of these things. It's been quite a long time since uh, since we did one of these meetups. So um, I, there's a lot more going on uh, than the things that are on these slides, but nonetheless, there's quite a few, quite a lot of things here that um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mention very briefly. I'm not gonna go th go through in very much detail. Um, the, the first thing uh, to mention, yeah, Smart Chef of News uh, for this May meetup. The first thing to mention is the local referendum win by It's Our City. So um, the Sheffield City Council is being converted to a modern committee system of governance. Um, obviously, governance, digital governance is a, is a major um, concept and in, in the digitization of governance and, and how uh, how city governments communicate with citizens and how how they're engaged is uh, a really important thing. So um, I'm very hopeful that moving to uh, to a, a committee-based system like this uh, is going to make the operations and decision making more transparent. But it really relies on good digital infrastructure and communication um, as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how that develops going forward. Um, but that's quite a major thing. I, I don't know anywhere else in the country that's that's um, uh, that's managed to get a change of governance model uh, enacted through a local referendum. I think this might be the first. Um, Sheffield City Council has, has announced uh, their economic recovery fund. So that's a two million pound fund to kickstart projects to help the high streets recover from COVID. I'm putting that out there in case people have uh, interesting ideas. Uh, also, the Future High Street Fund. Uh, so this is a this is a, a fund that has been won by um, Sheffield City Council and a, and a coalition of partners to regenerate Fargate. There, there was a public meeting last Friday as part of the um, Festival of Debate, which unfortunately I couldn't get to. But I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to put that the the uh, proceedings from that discussion online at some point um, to see what's going on. But if you go to that link there or we'll do a search for Future High Street Fund Sheffield. Um, you'll see their published plans for what they intend to do to Fargate. Uh, obviously, the Fargate is one set of redevelopment, but Heart of the City is proceeding, of course. Um, but generally speaking, the, the whole of um, Sheffield City Centre's recovery from COVID is a, a very uh, important, um, uh, very important um, uh, topic at the moment. Um, on which subject I wanted to uh, remind people of what makes Sheffield which is Sheffield's place marketing website and campaign run by Marketing Sheffield um, so what makes Sheffield.com uh, go and go and have a look at that it's a website about uh, about Sheffield itself with a lot of material so if you're communicating about Sheffield externally um, please go and look at what makes Sheffield and and borrow some of the uh, some of the assets that are there uh, but also it's a website that tells a story about um, about things that are happening in Sheffield. So um, I know the guys at Marketing Sheffield are keen to keep it updated. So if you do go through it and have a look, um, make suggestions for things that can be improved or added. Uh, the Sheffield bid, so that's the Business Improvement District, have announced that they're, uh, they're convening an alternative peer board. Um, and this is something, this is... Uh, a, a really interesting innovation. I haven't seen this anywhere else, um, but it seems like a really interesting idea to make um, access to decision making uh, more accessible uh, and more inclusive. So they're basically convening a board for people who don't want the responsibility of a formal board director role or don't feel ready to become a, a board director, but want to be more involved in the decision making and the activity of the business improvement district. So it's for smaller retailers, it's for independents, um, who you know don't want a board position at the business improvement district, but uh, you know want to be members of this alternative peer board. So that might be something that, that other organisations could look at uh, to to increase uh, inclusivity and engagement in decision making. Uh, also highlight the Bears of Sheffield. So the fact that Sheffield is going to be, um, you know, bringing 60 big or uh, hosting 60 big bear sculptures across the city um, and, uh, you know, create attractions and increase footfall and uh, and visitors to across the city centre. Obviously, there's, there's quite a big digital element to this with a, uh, the associated app and, uh, you know, the, the, the aspect of collecting um, eat all of the 60 bears. Uh, I think in addition to 60 big bear sculptures, there's a uh, hundred small bears that have been painted by uh, school children as well 
to, to find and collect across the city. So that's starting in July and we'll run, to, run till September. And hopefully it should bring some more footfall, um, not just to the city centre, but to, uh, you know, across the city and its neighbourhoods. Uh, also on digital inclusion, um, Sheffield City South Council have, have convened a big in digital inclusion summit. Um, there's another one scheduled for June. They had the first one last month. Um, and it's bringing stakeholders together to try and collaborate on addressing the digital divide across the city. Obviously a huge issue and a huge issue for smart cities. Uh, you can't have a smart city without smart citizens. This has been um, said many times before, um, but they're, they're looking for, they're running a survey for anybody involved or interested in um, digital inclusion issues um, to provide information about their organization or their activity so that, um, you know, the the summit uh, and stakeholders can uh, can gain a, a proper picture of everybody who's working in this space across the city. And you can go to this is this is where the um, the survey is hosted. But there's also a load of information there about about the summits and and outcomes since the since the last summit. Obviously, it's uh, the Sheffield Digital Festival this week. Um, so there's uh, I think over thirty events going on. Uh, from today until the end of the week, all around um, digital technology and activity. Um, there's a few things that I want to highlight in particular that, are, that relate to, uh, to smart cities, um, but go and have a look at the Sheffield Digital Festival website and, and see all the events that are going on there. Um, this, obvious, this event is part of the Digital Festival, obviously. Um, I'm also hosting uh, Geek Breakfast, as I do every Friday morning. Um, so if people want to come along and talk about anything to do with digital technology from nine until about 1030 on a Friday morning, there's an open invitation for anybody to come and join our Zoom, our Zoom call. Obviously, we used to do it in an actual coffee shop every Friday morning uh, at Tampa Sellers Wheel, and hopefully we'll be doing that again uh, in the not too distant future. But in the meantime, uh, it's all on Zoom. Uh, and this Friday will be kind of a festival special for people to come and talk about events they've been to. Uh, so the next event that's relevant is the Sheffield IoT meetup tomorrow. Uh, it's tomorrow lunchtime from 11.30. Pitch in. Oop. What happened then? We, we lost you for a um, couple okay. of seconds. I'll just reshare my screen. Did you all did you all hear me talk about the Internet of Things Sheffield IoT uh, meetup? Was that the last thing? Yes, okay. correct. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so the next event is uh, on Wednesday, and it's successful innovation in manufacturing using IoT, uh, which is an event by Pitchin, and that's on Wednesday afternoon this this week. So uh, look for it on Eventbrite or on the Pitchin Project website. Uh, Sheffield Digital have announced their mentorship scheme, so individual members of Sheffield Digital um, now also have access to, um, to mentorship for their £5 a month. So this is for individual members. Obviously, Sheffield Digital also has company members. But if you want to be a mentor or if you uh, want mentoring in your digital role, uh, then joining Sheffield Digital will, will now get you um, access to the mentoring scheme um, and, put you, and put you in contact with an industry professional um, who can help you develop. It's a brilliant thing, actually. I'm really pleased about that. Um, also, uh, I think since since our last event, Sheffield City Region have launched the Cycle Walk website, which is basically their information portal for all of their active travel um, activity. Um, so if you go to Sheffield City Region uh, slash Cycle Walk SCR, um, you'll get the latest news and updates on um, what is uh, an ongoing and quite substantial transformation of our built environment towards active travel uh, across the region, not just Sheffield, obviously. Uh, also, Pitch In Project have announced that they've got four week student IoT placement. So anybody who's looking for um, a, a student to come and help them with an I IoT project, um, there are students available via Pitch In in June and July to help you. Um, 
And a quick update from the Sheffield Things Network. So the Sheffield Things Network is a community-owned LoRaWAN in Internet of Things network that spans Sheffield. Um, there are now 18 gateways commissioned across the city. Um, and there's a community of people who are building gateways and applications that met earlier today. Um, and if that's a community you want to get involved in, then get get in touch or go to uh, the Sheffield community page at the Things Network website. You can search for it um, and you can join the community there. There's, um, I think there's over, I think it's 43 people part of the community and they're all engaged in building uh, a, a super low cost Internet of Things communications platform um, that allows you to put sensors and, um, and nodes out into the environment that collect data and return it to a, to a central repository where it can be analyzed and visualized. So. Um, there's a bunch of projects that are now using or looking to use that infrastructure um, to to generate new data sources across the city um, and that's very heavily supported by um, the urban flows observatory and steve jupp who's the technical director there okay um that's it if you want more information about these events and want to be notified of the next ones go to uh, smartsheffield.city and sign up um, and if you've got any news that you want uh, me to um, amplify and send out to, to our mailing list or present at the next event, let me know. Uh, it's info at smartsheffield.city or at smartsheffield on Twitter. Um, um, uh, as I said, um, I'd like to, uh, so um, videos and slides of, the, of all the talks today are gonna be available on the website at smartsheffield.city. Uh, in a week or so, hopefully, uh, including the slides, if the speakers let me publish the slides. I haven't actually asked them yet, but and some of it may be co confidential, in which case that's fine. But those that, that don't mind me sharing the slides, I'll make those available as well. Um, I'm going to invite the speakers to all sit at different tables for a little bit in the uh, social lounge shortly. Um, but uh, in the meantime, um, I'd like uh, everybody to take a 10 minute break and uh, reconvene at uh, 25 minutes past seven. Um, so go and have a drink, or you can come back before then, of course, and sit down and have a chat, but I'm gonna give everybody a 10 minute break to go and have a bite to eat and a drink and a, a walk around. And then um, please do come back and, and uh, join in the conversations and, and ask questions of the speakers. Uh, and of course, speakers, if you sit down at a table and nobody joins for a little bit, feel free to, to get up and go to another table in the meantime. Um, and so just finally, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Sophie and Martha and Richard, uh, and especially Paul for stepping in um, so late on. Um, you, there's a reactions option at the bottom of the screen. So uh, everybody, all, uh, everybody who's uh, listened to the talks, click on the reactions, there's a hand clap, and uh, let's give everybody a quick round of, of applause. Um, thanks very much, everybody. Um, and I'll see you, I'm gonna end the session now, and I'll see you all in 10 minutes or so in the social lounge. Cheers, everyone.